welcome back. It is time for another episode of Destiny Zer Predictions. So last week, Zer did sell the Helm of the Saint-14 for the Titans, the Kefri Sting for the Hunter, the Obsidian Mine for the Warlocks, and the Patience in Time Sniper Rifle. So with Zer only coming one more time before the Taken King launches, let's go ahead and get into some Zer Predictions. Let's kick things off with the Titans this time around. So this time around, I do think Zer will be selling the MK44 Stand Aside Boots. So these do increase the amount of heavy weapon ammunition you can carry. They also increase the duration of your shoulder charge. So these are some pretty good boots. I'm definitely going to pick these up if Zer sells them. I don't actually have them yet, and it would be pretty nice if Zer went ahead and sold them. Now let's go ahead and get into the Warlocks. We are still waiting on that Ram, but it doesn't look like he's going to be selling it anytime soon. I do believe that it would kind of ruin PvP if he actually went ahead and sold this, so we might not actually ever see this from Zer. Now last week he did sell the Obsidian Mind, however, this time I do think he will be selling something a little bit better. I do think he will be selling the Purifier Robes. Now not only is this chest piece great for Crucible because it does allow your Radiance to blind the enemies around you, but it is also pretty awesome in Trials of Osiris. This chest piece alone has led me to many victories in Trials while Radiancing, and I do think that it is a pretty great chest piece to have on you at all times for your Warlock. Now finally, we do have the Hunters. Now last week he did sell the Kepri Sting, which is pretty great, hopefully you guys picked that up because it is very helpful and probably will be pretty great once the Tank King launches, allowing you to go invis on any subclass. Now this time around, I do believe Zerb will be selling the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets for the Hunters. So these gauntlets do increase the reload speed of all special weapons, and while taking damage from a melee attack, you will also briefly go invisible. Now finally we are left off with the weapon, and last week Zerd didn't sell anything too ridiculous, but he did sell the Patience in Time Sniper Rifle. Now this week I do believe he will be selling either the Suros Regime or the Red Death. Now Bungie will be releasing the Taken King a week early for Crucible players, as well as the weapon update on next Tuesday. I did make a video on this if you guys want to see the full list of patch notes and all the changes coming on Tuesday. So I'll leave an annotation of that right now, so go ahead and just click that if you're interested. Now other than that guys, that is pretty much all of my predictions. So hopefully Zer's final trip in year 1 to Destiny will bring us something great. Now he of course will also sell an engram, so I do believe he will be selling the gauntlet engram. So go ahead and pick that up if you're missing any last year 1 exotics. Other than that, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for weekly Zer Predictions videos, and I'll catch you guys next Saturday in another Predictions video. Peace!